Hello guys. Uh, yeah, today wasn't so amazing. It was a nice day. We wake up in the morning, have some dinner, uh, breakfast. So me, I was having the breakfast. Tofu was sleeping too long for it. But my for me wasn't the best idea. And I, I can't eat in time. And um, so the rest of the day, we spend on a beach or the most time in water. Even there was still some jellyfish, but not so much like the last days. And um, so we stay in for a long time. Even the sparkling wasn't gone, but it was not so much. So we can ignore them. And we met um, some tigers in the water. Uh, like they catch the crabs and um, yeah, not nice for a vegetarian, but interesting to see. Even all the time you see a tiger in water, he wears clothes, and it's not often that you see a tiger in water. And um, yeah, then we spend here. We go alone, but we really soon spend some others from the hostel. I know we are a big group. Um, they watch the sunset, but now it's too dark for sunset. Um, yeah, having a nice time, and I think soon we're going to eat something. Um, I, mean, I think you can't drink tonight, so even not a beer, because today is t King's birthday. And at King's birthday, you can't drink alcohol. Um, it's a bit weird. But <laughs> uh, for us, it's normal on to drink on a birthday, I think. But it's even not here. So and now we are still on the beach. And I'm sitting in a restaurant, but nobody comes for me. It's not normal here, I think. Um, so I don't have to order something. Um, it's sort of crazy. But out there are always soon, but here is everything so leisure, it's so nice to see. Uh, here, I think I go back now to the group and spend some time, stay up longer, and see you back tomorrow where we want to leave that hostel, but even not Colanto. So we don't have enough time for all what we wanted to do, but we make a plan now for the rest. And I think it's um, tomorrow we leave um, the hostel and go more southern on Colanto. Yeah, so wish you a nice evening and see you later. Bye. Hi, yesterday after the beach uh, we were together with a big group, at firstly only two, and then with Josh, the Scottish guy we spent all the time yesterday with, or no, two days ago, and um, yeah, after a bit there comes more and more from the hostel, and then we watch it together this sunset, and after that we go back to hostel for taking shower and something, and then we decide to go dinner together to, to go to eat dinner together and we were sitting on the balcony of the hostel and talking about one and then one guy from the hostel said yeah there's one good restaurant but it's a bit far away and he, he said okay I'll pick up truck come in 
and I bring you there and then we sit down in the pickup truck like behind and um, some inside but the most behind and he brings us to the rec restaurant even he wasn't come with us and then we eat as a big group my I think 12 or 50 people and this restaurant it was even a full restaurant I've never seen a full restaurant in Thai and so it was really good food even I can't eat as much but I ordered um, a pineapple a rice fried rice pineapple with vegetables it was so good and it was Russian inside and so delicious and even the other food looks so good really so um, after this we go back to the hostel and we decide to go over the beach because to walk on the street is not as nice and so we decided to go on the beach and we go to the beach and I saw the water and I was running directly to the water and say oh water we have to go in and then on the beginning of the water I stopped and as the two Austrians was talking about the yeah the sparkle plankton and they have a trip and co pp and I said and I think, oh look this one, it's sparkling, directly on the beach. It, it, it's a sparkling plankton and they say, yeah, but it's not a lot. Maybe we saw every three or four meters one of the sparkle plankton. But when Josh and me, we were so fascinated about it. Really so fascinated. The others only looked at there and was not so in it. But we were so well, we were so fascinated. We walked so slow on the beach and found each we saw. We was looking on for maybe five minutes, five minutes. And then we decided to go, okay, we have to go back to hostel and pick up our, our swimming clothes and come back to go swimming in the moonlight. And then we go back to the hostel, Josh in his one, I mean mine, and we say, okay, 10 minutes, and I'm back here. And I go in the hostel, and the guy who pick up, up uh, was a, uh, who, who brings us to the restaurant with the pickup truck, asked me, oh, you want to go to sleep now? And I said, no, there was some of the sparkle plankton. And he was so hysteric. He really was so hysteric and slipped out. And asked me, where on the directly? And I described him. And then I go upstairs and maybe I come back downstairs like two minutes later and he and one other lady from the hostel was gone. I was thinking, okay, are they running to the beach now? And then my, after five minutes, Yash and May also go to the beach and we found these two hostel uh, locals and they come back and say, really sad or they were throwy. So instead, say oh we haven't found it and we say come with us and they come with us and we found each the sparkle plankton at the first one and maybe five meters later the next one and they were so fascinated like we they see, say to us they have never seen before in their whole life and they were really so fascinated and pick up each and went, look there look there and it was so nice and then you know, may go directly in the water and at first we make this one like sparkles and everywhere bubbles and we can't see a real sparkle maybe it was more lightning <laughs> like the normal one <laughs> alright maybe it was more lightning sound at normal but not really lightning but if you go in the water and swim inside without making sparkles that become so sparkling like it was it was so shiny I was really so amazing like we were sitting under the sky uh, under the star sky and watch the Milky Way and if you move too fast in the water, it was also the Milky Way in the water. And if you move really slow, there was like directly a scar sky in the water also. And the most amazing way it was really no cloud, nothing. And there's lightning in the water and all the sparkle plankton. And on the horizon, there was lightning from a blizzard. I was so amazing. I was like a phenomenon like a nature phenomenon 
never seen before on a perfect place and there was no one else with us up on the water. Nobody else see it or was interested on it. We was having the full beach for us alone. There's no one else and it's a perfect place sitting on a and it's a Milky Way, I have the Milky Way and water. I think we were swimming for two hours. Maybe it was even the jellyfish, but they, we ignore them for the most time. And swimming very really softly. So two hours before telling me, yeah, it's not so nice. You have to move really fast to see it. Maybe they saw a different kind, but this one was so amazing. I think it was the best thing I've ever seen in my life. I was really so nice and that even for free we haven't paid the 500 baht or something for it it was only for free and we was alone not with a tourist attraction group or something like that it was only at nature phenomenon really so amazing and I'm so glad to see it yeah it was so good it was really the perfect night i guess and i really hope to see it again because it was so amazing and I tried to t make a video of it, but it was not shiny enough, even if there was sparkling any, everything in the water, really everything. I can't describe how it is. It's like skydiving, but not with the, with the normal one. It's like, like diving in the sky, directly in the stars. Like you can move and each moving of your hand catch the stars and bring them, make them in a circuit feel like I was so or a wave in the stars. I was so so amazing. And we were sitting the whole time there and saying it. Like, oh it's so amazing, we can't go out, it's so good and even for free. But I I really want to talk my whole life about it. It's so nice about it. No but I can't. I think it's too much for the most. But it was really so nice.